Hi guys, it'll be a short video review on Sonic Scientific Hades 12 and Hades 24 modules. These uh, can be yours for 18 and for 20 dollars. And these are supposed to be capacitor banks uh, that will be filtering your power. So if your power supply is not stable or it's noisy, these are supposed to help with that. And as we know, uh, one of the reasons that we're buying uh, linear power supplies for audio equipment is that any kind of hi-fi audio equipment loves pure and clean power supplies. So I got both of these uh, because this one uh, will be used with my semi brava digital to analog converter and this one will be used with my HTPC uh, fanless computer. Um, okay, so the outside. The outside is just a regular aluminium box with input and output on a cable and it looks the same for both of them. As you can see, I've already opened them up. Uh, so let's see what's inside. This one is... Yeah. And this one goes free. So, as we can see, we have a set of capacitors inside, like we expected. Um, actually, the Sonic Scientific says that uh, these are connecting lithium battery and ultra capacitors technology. Well, yes, maybe. Uh, these look like uh, electrolytic capacitors, uh, though I may be wrong because that's just the type of casing uh, for the uh, part. So it may be as well the same as in electrolytic capacitors. What's interesting here is that for the 12 volts unit, uh, we can see that the both version is 1.1 and for, for 24 volts uh, unit, the board version is 2.1. So this is probably newer, although they look very similar. The general idea is that uh, you're providing uh, the noisy power supply here and the power bank this set of power capacitors uh, removes any or most of the ripple and noise and also acts as a energy reserve. Uh, that's why in uh, all of the amplifiers and all of the um, pre-amplifiers that I'm reviewing, in the clones that I'm reviewing, uh, I always uh, show you the capacitor banks uh, because there's, I don't think there's something like too much, too many microfarads uh, for your power reserves. The idea is that uh, under load, uh, when you listen to your music and you have uh, some kind of dynamic swing or very hard percussion hit or very sudden volume change, uh, apparently, uh, apparently, obviously, the amplifier, uh, the amplifier draws uh, a little more current, sometimes a lot more current, and the uh, load on the power supply increases and uh, increasing the load on the power supply results in lowering the output voltage. So basically, if you have constant changes in the volume, in the tempo, um, they will uh, also um, create a different load on the power supply and the voltage output may not be exactly the stablest one. So that's uh, about what's inside of these units. Uh, now we'll see how uh, do they actually work using my portable oscilloscope in a second, but I need to pause the video to close them because I won't be doing live experiments on these with uh, metal chassis uh, unscrewed. It's not that these are uh, dangerous, that the voltage here is dangerous in any way, uh, but uh, I wouldn't like to burn anything. So, the modules, capacitors, on the smaller one are marked with T16G99. These ones here are marked with T16I12. And I was googling for both uh, type descriptions and I couldn't literally, literally find anything on them. So, if you know what these are, 
please give me a shout in the comments. Uh, I'll also post the links uh, to the store that I got them from uh, in the description of the video. So, see you in a second uh, with the magically closed uh, chassis. Okay, so I got that one closed up and uh, we'll be focusing on this one uh, because uh, it's just enough. Uh, but I forgot to mention one more thing. Uh, the thing that I wanted to tell you about, and I forgot to mention this earlier, is that these are not exactly for these two voltages only, because they work with uh, a range of voltages. Uh, the 12 volt version is good for anything between 7.5 volts up to 15 volts so that's the range for this one, the smaller one and uh, Hades 24 is good for anything between 15 and 30 volts uh, so quite a lot actually okay so the idea here is that we have a Fossi Audio regular switching power supply uh, that's uh, included in most of the FOSI equipment and basically the same or very similar uh, power supplies are included with IEMA units and many other uh, types of equipment uh, not only D-class amplifiers but, but some uh, digital to analog converters too and we have my oscilloscope here I may be doing video on that one or I may not be doing video on that one uh, yeah right now it's speaking at noise so we will connect the probe to the output of the power supply yep like that uh, let's move that a little down Yeah, let's try to center it. Okay, so the range here is 10 millivolts and I've uh, enabled uh, amplitude measurement. So we can see that the ripple here is uh, 15 millivolts, a little bit higher than that in amplitude, which is basically pretty good. Uh, for the switching power supply uh, and uh, I'll try to do this test maybe later again because before I started recording the video uh, it gave me something like uh, 35 uh, millivolts uh, of uh, ripple. Uh, basically this uh, power supply is supposed to give you DC at the output so it should uh, provide uh, how else? it's rated for 24 volts so it should provide 24 volts of completely flat, ripple-free uh, DC output uh, at the output. Uh, but we're living in a real world, and uh, in real world switching power supplies, and basically all other, all other power supplies, do have a ripple, and the ripple is noise. Uh, so the output amplitude is not completely flat, it changes like that, and the um, amplitude of that changes is 15 millivolts. So what we'll do now is we will connect the Hades here and we'll see the numbers with Hades connected. Yep. And as you can see, the ripple, which is basically noise amplitude, dropped down by three three times almost three times uh, it's moving up slowly because i'm moving the probes and the oscilloscope but it was uh, 15 millivolts and now it's between five and seven so it dropped down between two and three times uh, so it works it works and it should work because that's just what the capacitor bank uh, will do for your power supply uh, so yes it works uh, we don't have to dwell on that. The thing is, can you hear the difference? Well, 
the lower ripple and the more stable uh, output uh, in your power supply means uh, something that's called uh, often as a black background. The idea is that uh, if you have a lower nice floor, noise floor, then small details in your music, small sounds, very quiet sounds in the background, and many of these sounds uh, allow us to determine the uh, position of the sound can be heard uh, or can be heard better. So we always want to have a very clean uh, power supply for your music devices. And this one works. Uh, can you hear it? Yes, you can. Uh, with the equipment transparent enough, you'll be able to hear these changes. Uh, the more changes you'll hear, the worse your power supply is. I was very pleasantly surprised by this particular one. I was so much surprised that, that I will show you this power supply again. Yes, it's Fossi Audio AC adapter that's outputting 24 volts uh, and 4.5 amperes. And the output power is 1.8 watts. <clears throat> so it's very clean. It's very, very clean. It's small. It's almost uh, in um, linear power supplies clean range. And that's it. They both work. $18, $12. Uh, so I can wholeheartedly recommend them. Uh, yes, they do act as uh, capacitive power banks too. So if your power supply was weak, not only noisy, but also weak, uh, you'll hear additional gains in uh, dynamic and uh, in uh, power of the base, mostly of the base, because uh, low sounds require higher power. That's it. I can wholeheartedly recommend both of them. They are cheap, they work fine, uh, there's no magic here. Uh, you can also build something like this on your own, uh, because what you need is just power socket, power plug, and a bank of capacitors inside. Um, but it'll be probably uh, more expensive than just uh, buying one that's ready-made for you. I hope you enjoyed this very small video. Uh, Yes, I need to get back to my amplifiers, reamplifiers, and cable reviews, but these do require serious listening sessions, and the listening sessions require me to be rested and relaxed, and I need to have time for that. So that's mostly uh, something I can do only over the weekends. Uh, yeah. So, see you soon. I hope you like this video. If you enjoyed this, if it helped you in any way, you're more than welcome to buy me a beer using Super Thanks. And see you next see you next time and have a great day ahead of you. Bye guys.